You see those tiny batteries? Many babies die because of them. The number of cases of kids that have been seriously hurt or died because of these quad drippled in the past five years, especially that we see them in so many toys. It became so common to the point that a button battery hotline has been created. Do you know what happens if your kid swallows one of these batteries? Hmm? Nothing. It goes down their guts and probably nothing would happen. But the problem if it gets stuck, which is more common than you think, if it gets stuck in the esophagus, the tube that goes down to your stomach, this causes a chemical reaction that can severely burn and cause a hole in the tube and permanent damage and possible death. Now this battery was put in ham and look at what happened in just two hours. Now after swallowing this, the kid could have difficulty breathing, drooling, coughing, or gagging while eating. And you know what the problem is? Many doctors will misdiagnose it with upper airway infection. They might give him a couple of pills and maybe a steroid shot and you're good to go. But the kid is still burning on the inside. And you know what? In a lot of cases, even if you remove the battery, the tissue keeps burning. That's how bad it is. So what would you do if you think that your kid had this battery for dinner? Even if you're not sure and you just see the symptoms, just assume the worst. Poison control suggests, suggest, suggest teaspoons of honey every 10 minutes because honey does slow down the reaction and get them to the emergency as fast as possible. So if you have bomb batteries around the house, keep them away from your kids. They can literally kill them. Now you're gonna have to buy new batteries. That, that sucks. Now send this video to a parent who can literally save someone's life. Goodbye.